Hey guys, Christian Missile here with a new tutorial. Today I will be going over the graph in Scratch and also in Processing and their similarities and differences. Okay, let's jump into it. Okay, so in Scratch, here's a uh, background with the uh, X and Y Cartesian coordinate system pulled up. And uh, the origin, 0, 0, is at the very center. The x increases to the right and decreases to the left. The y increases upward and decreases downward. In the same way, there are points all in between and everywhere. You can see them, my mouse position right here, and see how the they move around as I move my mouse around. Okay, in processing, it's a bit different. First, let's set up our program. Whoops. Void, that would be... Okay. Let's give it a bigger size of 700 pixels by 600 pixels, and run it. Here it is, blank screen. Um, now, this blank screen doesn't really give us any information about where the origin is or the axes, so we kind of have to uh, play around with it and uh, put something there so we can see. So I'm going to use a new function void draw and anything in here will be drawn to the screen I'll go over more about this function and a lot of other things to draw to the screen in the next video this video is primarily for the the graph system so that you can get used to that and then be prepared for the next video okay I'm going to be drawing a point to the screen. We can do that with point x comma y. Okay, that would be like this. Okay, point x comma y. And these denote to the x and y position of the point. x and y, just like in Scratch. Now, um, the first thing you always test in math is the 0, 0, or the origin coordinate. So let's do that right here. Okay, here we go. Now you can't really see anything because it's all it's a pretty small point, and it happens to be up in the upper left-hand corner. I'm going to make it bigger so you can see that. Here we are. Okay, you can see the big point right here. Um, this function I'll go over in the next video as well. So you can see that the origin in processing is up in the upper left hand corner. And that gets really, really confusing if you're switching from scratch at first. You just gotta remember it and uh, you'll get used to it eventually. So uh, let's start with another value. Okay, let's go positive on the x-axis. So the first one is x and y. So let's do 100x and 0y. Here we are, now we have two points. One at 0, 0, one at 100, 0. Okay, if we line this up, you can see that 100 pixels over here, just like it says. And x increases in the same direction as in Scratch. Good news. Now it would now we could of course draw x on a negative one hundred, but it wouldn't display on our screen, so there's no point in doing that. Okay, now let's try y. Let's increase the y. Let's do zero one hundred on the y. Whoops. Like so. And here we are. We come up with this very interesting fact that the y as you'll see we typed in a positive number here 100 the y increases as it goes down now this is the part that will really get you a lot now especially for me at first in processing i always had my y values increasing when i needed them decreasing and it was just a matter of like uh oh i saw it happen i was like that's that's all right so then i just uh, switch it you you'll get used to it after after a while but this is not this is, well, this is something you're going to have to get used to, because most all programming languages use this. Some have the origin down here, 
and increase this way and this way. But this is most common. So just know that y goes down and not up. Okay, in the same way we can draw a point at 100, 100. And here we go, we have our little square. So there's a 0, 0, 100, 0, 0, 100, and 100, 100. Okay, now let's try draw some points other places. Now what if we do want a point in the very center of the screen, like in Scratch? What if we just want to draw a point there? Even though our, our system starts up here, let's just draw one in the center. Now, we can of course use math. We know that it's 700 pixels wide, this direction. So we could just cut that in half and get 350 on the X. And then on the Y, so it's half of 600, 300. Okay, so let's try that. What, 350? 300. Okay, let's just uh, draw a point at the center. Let's just comment that there, give us more information about it. Okay, here we are. The center of the screen, there it is. Okay, um, now of course you wouldn't want to go through math to figure out every single point that you want to draw on the screen. That, so there are some really handy things that will help you out. Let me comment this out and do an example. So, we have these nice things. We can type in our point here. So, width. Well, lowercase, I'm sorry. Width, like this. And since it's pink, it shows that it actually represents something. So, width is actually the width of our screen. And we're setting it right up here even though you don't see it, but width it represents the width of our screen. So we can use that to, in a lot of cases, and it's very helpful. So you could do width divided by two, like so, and you could do height divided by two. Now, in theory, this should give us the center of the screen, just like the point up here. That's exactly the same operation we did here. Divided both of these by two and plugged them in here. So this should turn out the same thing, it just looks neater. And it's easier to read. And what do you know? I commented this one out and let put this one in, and there we are at the center of the screen. Okay, in the same way we can we can draw based on an edge. Okay, let's whoops, let's draw a point. Uh, before I draw the point, let's decide where you want to put it. Okay, say you want your point to be on this side, like 50 pixels away from this side, okay? And there is a way to make it so that these windows resize. I'll go over that in another, in another lesson, but say you wanted that point to stay stuck to this side and kind of move with it. Now, you have your, your original size up here, right? 700? So of course you could just use 700 minus 50, that gives you 650, and it would draw a point around here, okay? Or, you could do width minus 50, so that makes the entire width minus 50. And then no matter what the width is, it'll still be minus 50. So, here we go, point width minus 50. Let's just draw it, I don't know, 100 pixels down in the y-axis, okay. Let's run it and see what happens. Okay, here we are, right here, 50 pixels away. Now, say we increase the width to like a thousand. It's still stuck over here on this edge. Remember that um, 650 pixels was right about here. And also notice that this is still in the center of the screen. Because using these, those are based on what you set the size to. Using the width and height functions are really nice and helpful. Okay. Also, in the same way, let me decrease this to 400. And you'll see that it is still 50 pixels on that left side. Right like this. And this is still in the center. And these are still 100 pixels apart. Yep. Okay. 
you can use width and height and you draw a point with point x y thanks for watching next video will be all about drawing shapes and colors and that'll be fun see you guys next time